and I'm making a special lunch meal specially highlighting avocados as part of it. Hope you like it. I hope other people do too. Take care. All right, the first step in this preparation is a bowl of Hellman's mayonnaise. And then addition of my favorite wasabi sauce made by S&B, we're gonna take a really nice, healthy load of it, put it in the middle there. And then we're gonna mix this, this, make this wasabi mayonnaise, which is gonna have just a hair of a bite, but it's just adding a lot of real flavor. And my final secret to this little, this little plan is homemade ginger powder. I'm just going to take a small pinch of it and just sprinkle it around maybe a couple of pinches of it. And that will enhance it just a little bit further with a little pizzazz. And that will be our, our sauce for this chick patty burger. Once I have this all mixed up, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and give it some time to, to stiffen up where it'll make it easier. To use later. Let's move on. Next up, because we have some cooking time to do on these chick patties, I'm going to use this really nice air fryer that I bought, which works really well and saves time and energy. Doesn't have to heat up an oven for 10-15 minutes to do. All I need to do is put the chick patties in there, stick it in here. The system's going to automatically turn on. I'm going to use 350 to 375 degrees. Uh, just I think three yeah let's use 360 we're gonna run this for about 16 minutes and all we have to do is let it go and it'll start right up and it's gonna have heat convection and it's going so once this is going now it's time to start prepping the other items now we're gonna prepare the star of the show for this challenge it's the avocado we check an avocado not by pressing at the sides but by pressing at the top and at the very top if it's soft it's ready to go If you start pressing the sides you're gonna probably bruise it so I'm just gonna start at the top and I'm gonna make a cut until I reach the seed I'm gonna come down and around all the way around the seed until I get back to my original cut and then once I'm there, all I'm gonna do is just take it and twist, twist, and off it comes awfully beautifully. And I'm just gonna take the knife and, and a little, well, maybe, this one's being tough, but there she comes, right out, here she comes. Now I've got these nice pieces, and what I wanna do now is basically slice these into quarters. So I'll just take a quarter here and a quarter here. and a quarter here. I'll do the other side later so that you can see it. Should be using Chef Todd's knife techniques instead of this. And then it should be very easy to peel just by taking the back of my paring knife and just peeling off the back. As uh, someone else said, the riper it is, the easier it is for those to come off. You can see how easy that skin is coming off of there without having to try to do other methods. It just peels right off. Now, as soon as I get done with this other one, I will get back with you and have them all prepared rather than you having to watch the whole step. Be right back. Now back with our avocados prepared for the sandwich. Uh, here's something that you may be wondering why I have a lemon. I do not have the lemon for the purpose of using the lemon other than its juices and what we'll do is we'll just take some lemon juice and do it on the avocados that will keep the avocados from browning while we're waiting to put them on onto our sandwiches onto our chicken chick burgers so we're done that and now it's time to get ourselves a couple of good slices of, of tomato for that we use my fancy Kastari uh, serrated knife, which uh, works extraordinarily well. It's a really nice knife and it just cuts through a tomato like butter. So we're going to make two really nice large slices here of this juicy tomato. And we will move on from there. We'll hold that off to the side and that's ready. And then all we have left to do now is prep our our buns and get our, our uh, Dijon, or our correction, our wasabi uh, bananas back out of the refrigerator. We have nine minutes to go. I'll be back with you as soon as we're ready to pull the patties from the fryer. 
And now with one minute to go on our patties, I have pulled our now stiffened mayonnaise, our wasabi ginger mayonnaise from the, from the refrigerator, and we will give the, some very, very um, generous portions of this onto one side of the buns. And we will do a little bit more on the other side shortly, but before we do that, we're going to be doing, we're going to be adding some, some, some uh, chicken stuff. So let's do that first. And we're just about ready for that to come out. Uh, in the earlier picture that we showed you of our fixings, I had some American cheese slices. Well, I've changed that. We are now going to use some smoky provolone uh, cheese. It's a little bit smoked. that should add a little smoke flavor to this, to this particular sandwich. And there we go, I have the button. Now all I'm gonna do is just open this, and here they are all nice and, and ready to come out. They look beautiful. They're gonna go right over that mayonnaise, and immediately, with a piece, one of the provolones on the top of it, this fryer that comes out non-stick, it's wonderful. And over the top, and provolone cheese. Now on top of this provolone cheese, this is where I'm gonna use a little Dijon, just a, just a slight bit of Dijon mustard, on the cheese and as that softens over a hot chick patty we will then add our tomato to each side and now for the star of the show our fantastic tasty wonderful avocados which we are going to actually push down into the sandwich initially and we're just going to kind of take a spoon or something to make sure that they're properly seated on there. And we will do the other one as well, making sure that they have the opportunity not to fall off. And notice that the lemon has kept them for the last 10 minutes perfectly nice and still colored. I put a little bit maybe a little bit more because we'll be pressing the bun down. We'll just do two more on each side over the top. And they get a little slippery, but that's all right. And then what we'll do is take a little spoonful of this wasabi, wasabi, ginger mayonnaise and dollop it in the middle where it will spread once it's it's ready to go and then we'll also just take a little bit and make sure that the top side has a bit on there as well and then we will we will set for delivery We'll add some beautiful, fresh grown strawberries. And of course, what is lunch burgers without chips? Add that as well. And voila, lunch is served. Bon appetit.